Jeffree Star is in the middle of a scandal. You can't stop him. So he went to jail for two days. Hello, Mr. Mustang. Tell him. Me? You're calling me one? You're calling me one? Star. Run. Community, respectfully. How are you dropping those F words to a straight man? Jeffree Star says the F slur, let's talk about it. So many people are upset because last night was the TikTok Live Fest award show. Now some of TikTok's top creators and teams were at this party. Now during one of the events of the TikTok Live Fest, Jeffree Star was there and another creator, in my opinion, has been, because I have videos of that, kind of poking the bear with Jeffree Star. So when he saw Jeffree, he called him a recycler, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute. Jeffree Star popped off, said the F slur, here we go, roll it. Hey look, it's the recyclers, hold on. Chad, look, it's the recyclers, hold on. Yes, it's, a, it's the recyclers. It's the recyclers. Yeah, yeah. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Me? You're calling me one? You're calling me one? Who's disrespecting you? Move! 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 Beat it! Can we get a blue bin over here, please? We need the blue bin. Dubs. Ah. Snipe. <laughs> All right. Now, a lot of people are like <gasps> clutching their pearls, girls, because they're all upset that Jeffree Star said that. However, if you were around last year, Jeffree Star said it like three or four times in the Logan Paul podcast. Let me show you that receipt. Here we go. Tyson's fighting on the plane. Let's go. Yeah. He did. The baby got it. canceled for one thing, and that was what the was comments that? at the Rolling Loud Festival oh, yeah. when he was talking about oh, AIDS. About and Yes, exactly. That was the terminology. Oh he, I don't even know that he used that term. I, I just he haven't did. heard the the word in. You haven't heard in a long time. No one I know uh, says it or can say it. Oh, well, you probably don't hang around a lot of gays or. <laughs> not really. <laughs> he You're doesn't even know how to, He doesn't even know how to respond to that because he won't. Yeah, yes, of course you are. That word's normal. <laughs> say it again. Fucking. <laughs> I can say that. Of course I can. Are you kidding me? I've sucked more dick than ever, <laughs> than this whole city. I think. Is that, here. You earned, I get a free pass. You earned anything. it. You have that. I, oh my god! I earned Question. it. Question: How many dicks do you have to suck to be able to say the word? I'm just curious. Oh, I think over a thousand. Oh, that is yeah. so many cocks. Yeah. Oh, damn! But imagine I'm having a flashback like Vietnam. <laughs> a thousand? Yo, oh, I'm more. A... I'm just saying. He. I answered his. A question. thousand? Yes. Swear. So then I feel like it's a great debate. Like, is it never okay to say that? Or does Jeffree Star get a pass because he's part of the LGBTQIA plus community? Or is it the context that he said it sitting on the couch with the boys as opposed to actually saying it in anger at someone else? Now, as of the time making this video, Jeffree Star has not said anything at all or updates about it. But if he does, I'll insert it right here. Sorry about earlier. Oh no. Someone tried to fight me. That's um, absolutely and crazy. And I couldn't believe that happened. It was so random. Um, some weird homophobic psychopath. And it was on the way out. Literally. It was wild. And I don't understand it. It was very weird. Ever, but I love that you stand up for yourself. And you don't take Oh, I was shit. not the one. That that part. And Paul that, made and it. I know. I, it was a very weird debt for uh, to end like that. Yeah. But we had the best morning. Paul is all the way here from Michigan, you guys. He finally oh, made it. Yes. Also, this is the guy. That part. Never, baby, never. Y'all, we had a really amazing morning. And then some random homophobic psycho just tried to get buck with me at dinner. Yeah, uh-huh. And you psychos from his chat need help. I can't with this. Monster, Andrea. And I guess, so are you. Very weird, y'all. So much vibe, but when you're miserable with yourself, you're gonna lash out. So, you know, it's crazy. Now, apparently, he was called a recycler. So the person who went up to him, I believe, is E. e Cow, is a live streamer, I believe, and he walked up to Jeffree Star and called him a recycler. And he keeps this 
recycling thing going. And here's some other clips where he dresses up like a trash man to recycle. Let me show you all that. Here we go. So the Jeff, Jeff, listen, Barb. I can't believe you guys. What are you guys doing out here, bro? Listen, I think we got off to the wrong foot. I know. Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. I know you called me the F word. It's just, that's just not what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm organic, even in my sexuality. I think you need to take a step back. No, I, I know, I know, I know. I didn't have to say that, but you did say ill. You said ill first. D Gord, you're looking nice. Um, but yeah, no, totally. Like, can we shake on it, maybe? Shake? Okay. We're good? Because I don't want to fight you. I know you took martial arts when you were seven, right? I, that's, not my, that's not my thing, okay? All right. Hey, I'm going to see you guys later. Wow, you guys really single file it, eh? Nice. No, I love that. I love that. Hey. I'm gonna see you guys, okay? Keep battling, you're gonna be top one again soon. When you guys all log on, you guys will see something special, right? Okay, no, no, no. Listen, <laughs> I'm not joining your fucking club, kid, okay? Grow up, I love you though. You're beautiful, everybody, okay? Fuck, I was wondering where they went. It's crazy, love them. Miss those guys. Community respectfully. How are you dropping those F words to a straight man? Please make that make sense. The nerve. <laughs> when? How? Right? This is somebody that a lot of you people support and drop for, watch and vibe with. Not you guys, just in general. That's that's your role model for your community? That's a step back. That's like 10 years step back if that's the face of the community. Y'all going in the wrong direction. We don't start shit, we finish it. Simple as that, right? Simple as that. You wanna fight right now? Whoo! That's illegal for me. Absolute busters, man. We can't say too much because they talk crazy, right? They do talk crazy. Like, you know, TikTok is always watching and, and stuff like that. And it's these clips that are antagonizing Jeffree Star for a while. Now, I'm not defending Jeffree Star. He can defend himself, but I'm just saying, make it make sense. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Passing the question on to you folks, because this is going to drive great conversation. Now, this is just off the heels of Jeffree Star apparently doing snow on camera yesterday when Jeffree Star decided to lean off camera and come back to the camera and apparently people were saying that he was doing snow. But as we know, Jeffree Star does not partake in that. But let me show you the receipt, here we go. Speaking of, let me duck down real quick. <laughs> Take a motherfucking hit. Yes, green hearts in the... <coughs> So it's just nonstop drama, drama, drama. I don't think that Jeffree Star intended to, I've never seen anybody walk up to Jeffree Star and disrespect him like that because if you look at the clip, right, Jeffree's, it, Jeffree Star is in this little VIP section and the other creator is like going near the section and then poking the bear. I feel like Jeffree Star has been a celebrity for so many years. I think he should have known that people are trying to get a reaction out of him and he, they got one and so now people are talking about it people are talking about who this creator is and you know they basically getting some fame off of it and you know I, I saw another people are talking about this all over on the internet when Jeffree Star like raised his hand up people are saying oh could that be a sock could that be battery and it, it was it's getting out of control at this point right so I think that Jeffree Star was being poked and prodded at and he fell for it you know 100% if that guy's intention was to get a reaction out of Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star fell for the reaction. Now, it is TikTok, so who's to say that this entire thing is all, you know, fake drama for views? I don't know. But I do hope that Ecow and Jeffrey can make amends and talk about it, but I don't know if this was fake or it's real. You know, drumming up the a lot of attention hours before the TikTok Life Fest red carpet. Now, that's another mess because so many people are talking about the TikTok red carpet that they were serving. The food they were serving was this like people spent thousands of dollars to get there. Um, you know, their team sent them money to get there and then they're eating hot dogs. And it very much seemed like, like, 
I don't, because I was watching the TikTok live and I was like, I'm bored the house. Like, this the flow of things that didn't really flow properly. There was a guy like on the floor typing something on a computer. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna do the song again. It just didn't, it was like, did people not really rehearse? You know what I'm saying? Um, it was just, I just felt like it could have been a lot better, especially because TikTok is a multi-billion, million dollar company. They could have put together a really good, well-rehearsed show and have some artists come on stage. Ones that we know of, mainstream artists and things of that nature. But I don't know. I just, it just was like, mm, okay. Don't know what's going on, but I'm just here for the ride and watching. <laughs> I just feel bad for... The people who were there, like Jeffree Star, who was like Crystal, Alondra, Paul Dow, they, things of that nature. I think Bub, what's but No, not there. Who else? The Crazy Hillbilly, things like that. Like, I'm trying to think of these names off the top of my head, right? I feel bad for them because it's, I feel like they deserved a better show, right? I mean, I've been in the business for a long time. I can tell you when something is thrown together, when something is you know, hokey pokey, you know, when something is really going to put a lot of money in this one. Like, it just seemed like it could have been better, especially for the amount of money TikTok makes off these creators. It could have been way better. It came across giving cheap award show and those people deserve better. That was the award show. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there was more drama. And if there's if there any more drama, I'll talk about it in the next couple of videos. Now, also, apparently, Jeffree Star and so many other beauty brands such as Anastasia Beverly Hills and so on and so forth are getting sued for red lakes and something in their stuff. It's like it's like a class action lawsuit. So we'll see if it gets thrown out or not or not or something like that. We'll talk about that if anything comes of it. But I don't know. I just want to pop on and say, like, what do you think about Jeffree Star and the Efsler? Do you think that Jeffree Star gets a pass because he sucked? so many D's or do you think that like Jeffree Star is just so blunt in the moment that he just doesn't really care it's like water off a duck's back you know it's just like um what do you what do you call that term it's like a boys club it's almost like like the guys with the guys like if you if you really notice like Jeffree Star does not really care about what people really think he is just his own thing beats his own drum and he's like, whatever, I'm me, this is me. But he's been like that for a long time. So are you shocked that he said it? And I, I'm just questioning, like he said it a year ago, but no one said anything. But I guess the only reason now it's being a big deal is because of the context and him saying it in an angry way. But he didn't tase the guy. Usually Jeffree Star would have tased somebody. And I'm totally shocked that... Jeffree Star security didn't run up and tackle the guy. I mean, he was honestly, I mean, if you look at the footage, he was antagonizing him, but Jeffree Star fell for it. So it's great debate. You know, I think that if you really like Jeffree Star, you'll sit there and you'll be like, I can't believe that guy did that. I think if you do not like Jeffree Star, you're going to be like, I knew it. He's been like this all the way along. I can't believe he's at the F-Star. So it's going to be a very polarizing comment section. So we'll see how this turns out. So I'm overall passing the question on to you folks. What do you think? about that and kim kardashian's makeup line is back and laura lee actually got it to review and so many of you guys like it and don't like it it's very neutral palette james charles is shook by it but let me show you what she had to say in the review kim kardashian's makeup line is back let's review there is one eyeshadow palette it is 12 shades they are all matte it is 50 dollars. kind of pricey Everything is gorgeous and neutral, just how I like it. It goes in line with the skin skincare. We also have 10 lipsticks, all neutral shades. These lipsticks are $32 each, so kind of pricey. 15 different nude lip liners. I love that so much. These are $22 a pop. Okay, it's expensive. I will say anytime I've created an eyeshadow palette, the shimmers have been the most expensive shades I've purchased. So these are all matte and it is $50 and it is only 12 shades, so I will say. <laughs> You're buying it for Kimberly. I am gonna buy my own because this is my best friend's. I think we should swatch these. Here's a close up of the palette so you can see the colors. And then these are the swatches. It did swatch like literal butter. They were so smooth. Here is a look at all the lipstick color swatches. You definitely get a variety of different nudes. Out of 15 nude lipsticks, number 12 is the one I would pick for me. I love this color brown. Let's try it out. These are really pigmented. It feels super, super creamy on. I love this color number 12. It's definitely gonna be my color. Wow, that is so 
pretty. I will say I do love all these nudes. These are definitely colors that Kimberly wear. I also love the khaki colored packaging. I think it's so pretty. It has like, the packaging has like a cool tone to it. I'm gonna try the lightest shade lipstick, number one. Oh baby, these are matte. They are very pigmented, very pretty, but very matte. They don't really have any sheen to them. I will say they feel like velvet on the lips. I feel like the key with any super light look like this is to blend. So this is the lightest shade with the lip liner. Let's try a deeper shade. So pretty though. Number five is like this warm caramel nude. Let's try it. Glide on, so soft. That's pretty. Right, guys, I think number two in the lipstick is probably gonna be my favorite. Let's try it. Love a light nude with a dark brown lip liner. Guys, number two lipstick with number 12 lip liner is my favorite combo out of the whole collection. Hmm. That is so pretty. This is my color. If you want something lighter than number 12, go with number five, but number two, so pretty. Now let's get into this palette. I'm gonna go in with this soft matte shade. A lot comes off on the brush, but I don't see a lot of fallout. So I am just gonna softly buff that in. These feel really soft. I only see Kim Kardashian wearing matte eyeshadow, so this palette just makes sense for her to come out with first. I do see it's done by Cody, which is the same company that owned KKW Beauty. That is so pretty and so soft. I'll say these shades build up. This color right here looks so light, but look how it builds up into like a soft brown color once it gets on the skin. I I do have a concealer base down, but it does build up nicely. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here to build it up a little bit. What do you guys think of the $50 price point for 12 eyeshadow shades? I mean, it's definitely Kim Kardashian. She can sell anything with her name. Baby, you're gonna pay the Kim Kardashian price. I know I will be, because I will be purchasing this palette if I can get my hands on it. For me, I feel like these shadows are just building up like a dream, and they have no fallout. They are so soft, so smooth. I love these mattes. I'm going to go in with this cream shade. I love shades like this for my eyelid. Look how pigmented this is. I just feel like this matte eyeshadow palette is not hunky chunky like a lot of matte palettes are. You know with a lot of matte eyeshadow palettes, you touch the color and it's just like an explosion. These don't do that. They're pressed very well into the palette. I'm not gonna lie, they feel super high in. I still think $50 is slightly expensive for 12 shades because if you divide 50 by 12, Baby, you're paying over $4 for each shade. But you guys are gonna say they sure are pretty. <laughs> I wanna add just a touch of this deeper shade. Oh, that's pigmented. <gasps> you guys, be careful with these shades because they, they have pigment. So smooth and silky though. I actually love this palette. I feel like it's something I would use every day. This is the look with no false lashes. Let me add a lash. This, this is very my style of makeup. So I would reach for something like this every day. Love the packaging. I love the quality. The only thing is I wish she was selling it in a bundle deal so you can get all of it, but they, are not. <laughs> it's gonna launch on the 26th of January on her skin website, and I believe it sold all individually. What do you guys think? Will you be purchasing? Now, like from a PR standpoint, I feel like the fact that Kim Kardashian is back with her makeup line, she's not calling it Kim Kardashian West, KKW. The makeup is part of this Skin by Kim skincare collection, and she's launching it under the skincare brand. So it's like skin by Kim makeup. But I was looking closely and I feel like it's a little smoke and mirrors because it being launched under the skincare line, there's no really skincare benefits to the makeup such as hyaluronic acid or squalene, things like that that are added into it or niacinamide. It just seems like a nude palette and nude lipsticks under the skin line but with no skincare benefits so i kind of found it to be uh almost like a like why is this being launched here you know like it made sense because the brand skin is already exist but it doesn't make sense in the sense that there's no skincare you know infusion into the makeup so you know you can sit there and say skin loving ingredients but like where are they because there's no mention in any of it but anyways, that's just my opinion on that drama. And no one's talking about it. I just find that interesting. All right. Well, then to further add, Laura Lee goes into how she got her PR package for to review. That she got it from her friend, Manny Amy Way. And I'm like, I just find it interesting that she uploaded this one-minute clip saying, Hey, thank you, Manny, for letting me borrow this for review. When I, I can assure you that they probably in the past 
have gave each other PR to review when one didn't receive it. So I'm sitting here, I'm thinking like, why did she make this video basically saying thank you Manny for letting me use this when she's never done that before in the past when he has or when she has let him do it. It just seemed kind of like clout chasing it, or, or it came across like, hey, I'm not on the PR list, so put me on the PR list, KKW or whatever, Kim Kardashian, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It just came across like that and I'm just side eyeing it, but here you go. Let me roll it. So you guys know how when you hear something about the beauty community it is not always the most positive experience. Well, I have a positive experience I want to share because I think it's so cute. I did not get the skin makeup to review and I'm so sad because I wanted to review it so bad, but my best friend did. I told him I didn't get it and he was like, well, do you want to just borrow mine and review it? Which one that was so sweet, but what was extra sweet about it is he put it all back together perfectly. So it looked like I got it. Like he looked like it looked like it was brand new. He told me he was going to put all the lip liners back together so I could present it like I got it. The pamphlet. He put the card back in here. He even put the palette back in the bag. It's so sweet. Lipsticks back together perfectly so it would look like I got it. Instead of being like, give me credit, say it was my kid. No, he absolutely not. He was like, just pretend you got it. I'm not gonna do that, but I just thought it was so sweet to share the skin makeup with me and let me use his PR as if it was my own. Sometimes there are good moments to have in the beauty community and maybe that's why we've been best friends for the past seven years. I just felt like sharing that because you rarely hear about all the sweet stuff that happens and maybe it's just because we don't talk about it. But my best friend knew how excited I was about this. I was so bummed I didn't get it and baby, he has my back. I love you, Manny. Now let me review this. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube.